Strategic Management Strategic management is the process of effectively aligning the organization with its external environment. The starting point in strategic management is setting goals that a business wants to achieve. Setting Business Goal Goals are performance targets, the means by which organizations and their managers measure success or failure at every level. 1. The Purposes of Goal Setting an organization functions systematically because it sets goals and plans accordingly. Goals provide direction and guidance for managers at all levels, help firms allocate resources, help to define corporate culture, and help managers assess performance. 2. Kinds of Goals Every enterprise has a mission. A mission statement indicates how the enterprise will achieve its vision or purpose, in the environment in which it conducts its business. Every firm needs long-term, intermediate, and short-term goals. Long-term goals are typically five years or more into the future. Intermediate goals are set for a period of one to five years into the future. Short-term goals are set for one year. Managers at all levels are responsible for setting different kinds of goals. The higher the manager's level in the organization, the broader and longer term are the goals that are set. Whatever the level at which goals are set, they should be smart goals, that is, goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-framed. While companies may have the same purpose, their mission may be different. Mission Statement States how the organization will achieve its purpose, reason for being. Clarifies who the organization serves, what it offers, and how it will be provided and Includes core values and ethical commitment b. Formulating strategy Strategy formulation involves setting strategic goals, analyzing the organization and its environment, and matching the organization and its environment. Strategy tends to have a wider scope than planning and is by definition a broad program that describes what an organization intends to do. 1. Step 1. Setting Strategic Goals Strategic goals are long-term goals derived directly from the firm's mission statement. 2. Step 2. Analyzing the organization and its environment After strategic goals have been established, organizations usually go through a process called a SWOT analysis. 3. Step 3 is matching the organization and its environment. Analyzing the organization and its environment. The SWOT analysis is the process which involves the identification and analysis of the organization's strengths and weaknesses and environmental opportunities and threats as part of strategy formulation. Environmental analysis involves scanning the environment for threats and opportunities, external to the organization. Changing consumer tastes and hostile takeovers, for example, are threats. Managers undertake an organizational analysis to better understand a company's strengths and weaknesses, internal to the organization. Strengths might include surplus cash, a dedicated workforce, managerial talent, technical expertise, or little competition. The absence of any of these strengths could represent an important weakness. Matching the organization and its environment. This final step in strategy formulation is matching environmental threats and opportunities against corporate strengths and weaknesses. More than any other facet of strategy, matching companies with their environments lays the foundation for successful planning and conducting business. An example would be Sobeys. When Sobeys acquired rival Safeway, it seemed like a good strategic decision that would create greater efficiencies and give Sobeys a national footprint. But Sobeys' integration of Safeway into its business was messy, and consumers complained about higher prices and out-of-stock situations for products they wanted to buy. It took many months for Sobeys to resolve these problems. A Hierarchy of Plans the three-step strategy formulation process requires a hierarchy of plans on three different levels, strategic plans, which reflect decisions about resource locations, company priorities, and the steps needed to meet strategic goals, and which are usually set by top management, tactical plans, which are shorter range plans concerned with implementing specific aspects of the company's strategic plan, 
and operational plans, which are developed by middle and lower level managers who set short term targets for daily, weekly, or monthly performance. C. Levels of strategy There are three levels of strategy in a business firm corporate level strategy, business level strategy, and functional strategy. 1. Corporate level strategies identifies the various businesses that a company will be in. There are various strategies. A. Concentration, focusing the company on one product or product line. B. Growth, several specific strategies are available, for example, market penetration, geographic expansion, and product development. C. Integration, horizontal integration means acquiring control of competitors in the same or similar markets with the same or similar products. Vertical integration means owning or controlling the inputs to the firm's processes or the channels through which its products and services are distributed. D. Diversification, means expanding into related, related diversification, or unrelated products or market segments, conglomerate diversification. E. Investment reduction, means reducing the company's investment in one or more of its lines of business. 2. Business level, competitive, strategies, a plan to establish a profitable and sustainable competitive position against the forces that determine industry competition. These include, cost leadership, being the low cost leader, differentiation, unique in its industry along some dimension that is valued by buyers, and focus, selecting a market segment and serving the customers in that market niche better than competitors do. Contingency planning and crisis management. Due to the dynamic business environment, most managers recognize that even the best plans sometimes become impractical. Therefore, managers often develop alternative plans in case things go awry. Two common methods are contingency planning and crisis management. A. Contingency planning attempts to identify in advance factors in the market that might change in the future and how the company will react if the factors do indeed change. b. Crisis management, involves an organization's plans for responding with an emergency, for example, an oil spill, that has actually occurred and requires an immediate response. Management and the corporate culture. When recruiting new managers, Organizations must make sure that these managers will fit into the organization's culture. Corporate culture is the shared experiences, stories, beliefs and norms that characterize a firm, that is its style. It is important to establish and maintain a strong, clear culture. A. Communicating the culture and managing change. Managers must consider the kind of culture they want for their organization and then work to nourishing that culture. One. Communicating the culture, to communicate effectively, managers must have a clear understanding of the culture, they must transmit the culture to others in the organization, and they must maintain the culture by rewarding those who work toward maintaining it. 2. Managing change, sometimes a cultural change is required, and such a change may cause conflicts to develop. 